Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Dubai International Motor Show. So today's video I'm going to be showing you all electric cars that are launched in the, the, in the auto show and also not just the launched cars but also the, the already available electric cars that have been upgraded and been launched in the motor show as well. So I'm going to be very quick about this in this video and I'm going to be doing a quick glance over all the cars as well and also there are going to be more videos that I'm going to be dropping uh, related to the various segments that I'm going to be covering about the, the different sections of the motor show so make sure to check them uh, other videos out as well. Anyways let's have a quick start and just glimpse around all the electric cars so let me start off with the first uh, electric car from here which is the super insane hyper car i don't know what mental car but this is the maddest version as park is a japanese company that have been developing for four years this car and they came out with the model called as the owl as park owl and this this insane car produces 2012 brake horsepower and 2000 newton meters of torque and this just weighs a hundred and uh, 100 1300 kilograms i'm sorry and this is this just doesn't stop here it's got a range of 450 kilometers it has a top speed of 400 kilometers and the are you ready for this 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 one acceleration is 1.69 seconds from 0 to 60 i mean how how has this been done no has this been done but apparently the company claims that this can be done and this has been achieved and they've been developing this even just check out how cool the car launch was like they got a cool robo and then the robo was introducing the car and about all the specs it was a pretty mad sort of um, 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 kind of launch car launch a pretty unique car launch that they had done and the, and the robo was a, as an autonomous robo and then that just goes to show how much you know the company and the background about it but then this is a completely carbon tub and then all of this aerodynamic has been done from scratch every single thing even the even the the the, the the wing that you see comes and goes down but then this will be a mad car to see they are going to be producing about 50 units i think but then they are going to be just making 50 and then that's about it and then i'm pretty sure these, these, these are going to be costing like millions so the next car that i wanted to talk about was the nissan leaf now you've been familiar with the nissan brand itself and also i'm, I'm sure you would have heard about leaf it's been almost four years that nissan has been making these electric cars and this is the latest version or the or, or the iteration of of the the leaf version and apparently they have put up a cool stall out here so if you can read out here you have to choose your seat you have to tap your feet to create the energy that is a cappuccino that is being made and that puts a photo of yourself on the cappuccino so the more you tap the more quickly you're gonna get your photo printed on a cappuccino crazy but anyways continuing there aren't about a, a lot more specs or something that been put up around on this but it's just more about the promotions that they are doing but then i checked out the interiors they've, they've pretty much done a lot of new stuff with the interiors the, it looks pretty premium pretty plush even the design the the wheel base hasn't changed a lot it's just the front look and the rear look which has been a little tweaked around that's it but otherwise this is one of the best electric cars currently available in the market the next electric car which you can see is a mercedes eqc now this is a long awaited launch that was awaited in the middle east as well so they've already launched it in the in the european regions and the us as well so this is the the, the fully electric uh, car from mercedes now uh, this has a range of 471 kilometers it's got 408 bhp it produces that much of power they are electric motors and the torque is 760 newton meters although it's got a top speed of 180 kilometers and a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration is 5.1 seconds anyway let me take a, a look around this car as well because it's got pretty premium sort of material uh, interiors that they've done as, uh, as, as 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 you can see out here this is the maddest maddest electric car by far that i have seen even they put up some um, chargers out here at the back you can see there is this strip of light that goes around something like a porsche if you if you have noticed so the, the badging out here which is the eqc 400 400 stands for the the i'm guessing the power that it produces in 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 the 
not the, the brake horsepower, but the kilowatt that is 400. So, and then there is the formatic transmission in this. So the whole car looks and feels like pretty up class, you know, pretty premium. And if you see the spoke wheels, they look so cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a massive fan of the spoke wheels out on, on this one. And this one, and especially the black color, looks really cool. The next car that particularly is stealing the limelight, to be honest, and one of the best looking cars by far, I think, is this, the Jaguar i -Pace. Jaguar launched this car uh, with all the other manufacturers on the same day. So this particular car has an aluminum chassis. Its complete body is made out of aluminum. And it, 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 there is only one problem now. Now, let me come to that straight away. It's got a range of 270 kilometers. I'm pretty sure it will be increasing over the time. But for now, it's just got that one. But it's one of the nicest looking cars. I mean, look at that. Let me take you around and show you the, 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 the proper. And by the way, this car has been awarded the best, the world green car for 2019 by the World Car Award. Check out the back. It's just insane. It, it looks mad. I mean, every single detail. There are, there's carbon fiber at the, at the bottom, on the, on, the, on the bumper. And the only, um, another issue that I find is this. The, the rear window is, the, the glass, the rear glass, I'm sorry. The rear glass is actually pretty small and as a result of that it may lead to a smaller view in your rear view mirrors but otherwise the interiors and everything is plush about this car i mean it's just super and look at the the, the door handle so when you unlock they just come out and when you lock they just plush into the body and just become flat this is one of the nicest looking cars by far in this show so one of the early adopters of electric uh, car technology were Chevrolet as well in along with Nissan and BMW so Chevrolet Bolt has been one of their best-selling models as well and uh, apparently they, they've, they've uh, upgraded the, the model as well with some new designs and the Bolt EV badging as well and if you can see the interiors god it looks amazing and even like this is the car by the way which I finally found empty because apparently the show has been pretty busy anyway let's just continue so look at that look at the look at the dashboard that they've got i really like this floaty design that there's a lot of space at the bottom and just just not a big fan of whatever this design is but uh, otherwise the, the seats are pretty cool the the steering wheel and all of that so yes this car produces 204 v brake horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque and it has a range of somewhere between 350 to 400 kilometers the the real values that we are talking about but that's not bad actually and considering like this is a tiny car and an everyday car so just as i was talking about the early adopters of the battery technology bmw also was one of the early adopters of the battery technology and i3 the the bmw i3 is their one of the most the top selling model in terms of the ev so I, I, and this is the 2020 model that they've got. So this has a top speed of 160 kilometers, and they have, this car produces 183 brake horsepower, and it's got pretty nice. And if you see, it has two side doors. Or only Rolls Royce offers that, but then apparently even the i3 now. So hey, there you go. One more reason to buy the i3. So it has, although the range hasn't been mentioned out here, the long. Um, rear windows as well although it looks a little um, out of place to be honest in terms of the design because of the sudden drop in the in the design but once you get used to it I, I think it's not a bad car and as you can see the interiors are pretty amazing look at this floating screen inside and then the the standard BMW design interior and it's got four proper seats it's not a bad car and even the materials that they've used out here are pretty plush moving at the back the design remains pretty much same for the 2020 model as well you get the the the, the tail lights which are pretty much uh, inside the body plush so you can see it's just 
there's a big huge glass that covers the the tail lights as well and and a, a single glass just runs at the back and at the bottom you get these uh, the reflectors at the bottom and the overall design is is it looks pretty neat you know the whole black look and just the white uh, bumper at the bottom the two cars that you see out here are the electric cars now GSE is a the GSE motor has just entered the UAE market a couple of years back and after that they've been going pretty strong about introducing all these electric cars that they've been promising and they've been packed with features and this particular model let me start explaining you what it is so it's an Aeon S it's a completely electric car like battery battery powered car and the, let me just come straight to what is special about this car. The, on top, if you see, they have solar panels mounted. They have freaking solar panels to charge this car. Although I'm pretty skeptical about how quick the, the charging is going to be. The interior is, the quality is pretty amazing considering it is, it is a Chinese manufacturer. But overall, the design is pretty cool. Like everything currently is in Chinese for some reason they didn't change the language to English but uh, because this is just the launch model and then there, there are not a lot, a lot of specs available about the car as well currently but it's apparently got a 450 kilometer range and this has a wireless charger and also this this tiny little gear stick which I when I sat there and tried out it was a little weird but anyways um, um, otherwise the interiors are pretty good and and it's it's got this this sort of purplish sort of leather and, and combination of this fake wooden trim out here as well. I'm not a big fan of this color interior but maybe other colors this might look really good. And at the back if you can see there is there is there are two proper seats and also the middle row with the with the with the cup holder as well. But the, the main feature is the the solar panels that this this car has uh, has come with uh, and 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 at the back you have this big light strip now every single manufacturer these days wants to jump onto this this sort of design this looks more like the dodge the challenger kind of design and then everyone wants to put this single sort of light at the back and uh, this is a, like a proper sedan and, and and maybe this this once it's out maybe we'll know how good this car is the next vehicle from the gse motors lineup is the ge3 350 this is also a fully electric car but now here the specs out okay so this produces a the electric motor produces power of 132 kilowatt and 290 newton meters of torque but the the important factor which is the range because obviously the electric cars have the range which is very important now they have specially mentioned if you drive it at a constant speed of 60 kilometers per hour then you will get a drive range of 530 kilometers so that means in the real world conditions this is somewhere between 350 to 400 which i'm not too sure is a, is a very good good amount of range because check this car out it, it's a sort of a sort of an mpv or a small suv or a compact suv that you can say and it's a four wheel drive as well now if you look around the there's this badging and also the blue sort of apparently blue color is the color for the electric car so all the manufacturers put blue color everywhere to make sure they just signify the car is an electric car but there's a little funny design going on at the back you, you get this sort of design light and at the bottom also there are these triangles which are your your markers so the the it, it's a very sort of strange looking back end as well but on the sides if you see and let me show you the inside the problem is that the floor is a little raised if you see there is a the, the, the floor is literally and then then somehow funnily they put beige color carpets instead of the black for some reason and the stitching is also matching with the the carpet so maybe that is the reason why they put but otherwise the, there is ample of space behind for three people to sit properly there is no hunch in the middle and in the front even the dash has a quite decent sort of i don't like the brown color straight away let me tell you that 
but it's a very simple looking dashboard also and in the middle again there is a Chinese language for some reason they did not change it to English so these were all the electric cars that were launched or introduced or shown at the Dubai International Motor Show give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come until we meet next time bye bye